Hi, my name is Rob Ray with MP3 Car. We're here at CES 2010, and I'm here with Kyle at the. Uh, we're actually Kyle's one of the board members of Geneva. So right. we're we fought, did a, an interview on Geneva about six months ago, and uh, we thought it would be interesting to get an update from Kyle about what's uh, happening in Geneva that you're so involved. We thought you'd have a good perspective on on what's been happening over the last six months. Wonderful. Thanks for interviewing us. Uh, so Geneva has come a long way in the last six months. Mm -hmm. Uh, we went into existence in March mm -hmm. 2009, right. so we're roughly 10 months later. Uh -huh. uh, 10 months on, we have uh, 50 members. We, we crested our 50 member mark. Uh, the impressive piece of that is the membership goes well beyond um, the typical automotive um, uh, space. And what Genevi really desires is competition at all levels. So mm -hmm. we actually have 15 different uh, silicon providers uh, as members right now, we have a number of uh, software providers. That's mm -hmm. where the, the majority of our membership resides right now. I think on the Tier 1 perspective, automotive Tier 1s, um, I don't know the exact number, we have about eight Tier 1s, and we're now up to five uh, OEMs mm -hmm. with much more interest uh, in the future. So what can we expect to see out of Geneva in the next six months to a year? Okay, so. We crested a, a major milestone, which we announced here uh, at CES, in that the release of Geneve 1.0 has gone out to the membership. Mm -hmm. um, it's a reference candidate, which uh, means the membership is reviewing the code right now for official open source release okay. um, coming up. And that would get released to the mobile and community, right? Uh, right. Portions of it get released into um, the, the mobile and. Uh -huh. Uh, so looking forward, then, the Alliance is focusing on uh, the, the stakeholder needs, stakeholders being everybody in the chain, and how Geneva 1 um, addresses those, mm -hmm. looking forward to Geneva 2. Okay. So things such as um, uh, we see the need to uh, expand out from today's x86 mm -hmm. architecture to also include others such as ARM, okay. uh, SH, Okay. Um, et cetera, mm -hmm. to make the Geneva code um, agnostic to the hardware. And mm -hmm. we're doing that at every level of, of, of the chain. So you mentioned portions of the code will be released into mobile. And uh, my, my understanding was that at every milestone, every major milestone, that all the code was going to get released into uh, open source community. So interestingly enough, there will be pieces that um, will remain as part of um, the Geneva okay. um we have membership to buy the entry fee in order to get to the access to the code. The entry fee is simply membership into Geneva, so okay. Geneva members, and, and there are reasons behind some of those. Uh, okay. um, some of the intricacies of the uh, interactions with things like Autosar specs and most specs, um, things like that, where uh -huh. you would have to be members of those organizations to get. Um, okay, so that was more around complying with the legal demands of exactly. the organizations. That exactly. Okay, that makes sense. Well, thanks a lot for taking the time to uh, give us an update, and Thank uh, thanks for watching our blog.